I'd like to take a moment to welcome all of the children who are maybe watching online. A few in the back, good morning, good to see you. Glad you're here this morning. Um, we don't have Sunday school, so I know you're not watching downstairs. We get a week off, and then next week, I know you're gonna be preparing for the Christmas pageant, so thank you for that. So I'm down here this morning because I wanted to show you, uh, we, we've got our, we've lit our first candle on our Advent wreath, and I just wanted to take a minute and explain a little bit about the meaning of this wreath because it really symbolizes all the pieces of Advent. Now you can't see it too well, maybe from where you're sitting, they can see it better on television, I bet. Um, but the wreath, it's, it's round, just like how many of you put a wreath on your door? Any of you have, almost everybody has a wreath on your door, and it's round and it's a circle, and it's a circle because a circle doesn't have an ending or a beginning. It's never ending, right? No matter where you are in the circle and you keep on going, it never ends. Just like God's love never ends. It just always keeps going. That's why rings that we people exchange when they get married are also a circle that reminds us of God's unending faithfulness. Now this ring, it's made up by a green bough, an often evergreen tree. And green is also important. That's a color that symbolizes life. If we didn't have green things, we wouldn't have oxygen. That, that leaves produce that oxygen. And so green is that essential thing that delivers life to us. And so at Advent, we remember the source of life, our God that keeps coming to us and, and keeps us green too. Then of course, we've got four candles. You'll notice there's three purples, and there's a pink and a white. Now, purple is the color of Advent. Um, both Advent and Lent uh, often have purple because it's a royal color for Jesus. It's also the, the color of reflection and even penance. So this is a season where we're supposed to be reflecting, right? Watching, waiting, reflecting. And so we, we have the three purple candles, and the first candle we lit is hope. Next week, we'll light the candle of peace. The third week, we will light, uh, actually, we jump over here to the pink one, the candle of joy, because what's more joyful than wearing pink, right? <laughs> then the fourth candle of love, and then on Christmas Eve, we'll light the center white candle, which we call the Christ candle, and all of it, the light represents God's light coming in the world to lead us and guide us and direct us. So whenever you, you think of Advent and the meaning of it, it's all right here in the color and in the symbols of it. And we'll, we'll see this as it unfolds every week. Okay, thanks for joining us for this. And I invite you now to listen to the scripture message from the Gospel of Luke that will help us frame this first week's message. From Luke's 21st chapter. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on the earth distress among nations, confused by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will faint from fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, stand up and raise your hand, heads because your redemption is drawing near. Then he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is already near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Be on guard so that your hearts are not weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and the worries of this life, and that day does not catch you unexpectedly like a trap. For it will come upon all those who live on the face of the whole earth. Be alert at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape these things that will take place and to stand before the Son of Man.
Thanks be to God.